Okay, I want to pick up where I left off last week, uh, just showing you how you can use a grid to create advanced page layouts. So last week we introduced a grid and took you through setting up a simple three column layout. And so today I'm going to take this same page and I'm going to replace the text with pictures to start so that we can see a little more easily how the grid all fits together. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to first cut out these two sections of HTML. So I have three pictures in my grid. And these pictures are all 960 pixel wide pictures, so they're bigger than the grid. When I refresh, the grid will resize the images and drop them into the right spot. So each picture is taking up eight columns in the grid. 24 columns for the grid divided by three is eight. So now if I go back to my grid and I add in, say, another three pictures, I happen to have a couple here. I'll share those in. I'm going to have six. And without doing anything else, the grid will go and resize the images again and drop them into the right spot. Each picture takes up four columns now. Okay, but what if I don't want them to take up four columns? What if I want them to have eight columns per picture and uh, two rows of pictures? Well, I can go back and adjust the grid. And if I edit the grid, I can set the column span for each cell. This is really the default column span. So if I've not set the size of the cell, it's going to say we'll make it eight. So now when I come back and I refresh my grid here, I'll have two rows with each image taking up eight columns in the grid. Okay, so, so far so good. Now, what if I don't want them all to be the same size? Okay, so now you can do things like, you know, make one image small or bigger than the rest of the images just by changing the attributes on an, uh, any specific image. So in this case, I'm going to hop in to edit here and say I want the third image, or actually the second image in this set to be, oh, let's make this guy uh, four. Okay, so I'm just going to save this one image and when I refresh my grid, the system will go and make an adjustment to the one cell that I changed, but it's left all the other ones set to the default. So as it's working through laying out the grid, I've got eight columns here, I've got four here, I've got eight, eight here, and it knows the next one by default is going to be eight. So it's not going to fit in this space, but I do have four columns sitting over here. So if I want this image to come up and fit in this space, all I have to do is come over and edit the grid, go find the fourth image, as it's wrapping around and change its default and say, well, it's going to be four. Okay, so now it's going to fit perfectly in the grid. And I'll have four on the first row and two on the second row. Okay, so you can start doing some pretty creative things, uh, especially when you start putting grids and grids. And that's what we'll talk about tomorrow. Uh, and, and I'll show you how you can take any one space like this and create your own layout for that space and then place it in the right spot on the page. All right. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Thanks.